if you lean on one side too much, it's going to become unbalanced. And it just creates suffering. So there is a way to walk the middle path. That's the other thing. So it's like you can't practice totally non-desire then you'll never accomplish anything. You could, but then you might as well just be a homeless person and just drink a little bit and don't have anything to look forward to, any escape. Without desire, you'll have no reason to grow. You have to have desire. You can't give up on desire. Desire is necessary. Too much desire will cause more suffering. Wanting something too much and not being able to get it will cause suffering. So when we meditate, we're thinking about nothing to clear our mind of all worries, all, all emotions, or we have an object of our meditation, our prayer, which is God having gratitude and thankfulness. The gratitude and thankfulness help us more than anything else. And desire to, to work for something, to have something, anything. Thankfulness and gratitude are probably the, one of the number one things that can boost happiness. But try to say that to someone who's starving. Will it help them? No, it won't. It fails. Try to say that to someone who's in jail or prison. Hey, be thankful for what you have. Will it help them? No, it'll make them feel like crap. So, and not every single thing does it, is it ultimate. It is, but it's not, if, you, if that makes sense. There is a middle path to everything. Too much of anything in extreme will cause suffering and Having nothing at all, having no spiritual principles at all will also cause more suffering. Having no it's it's so hard to explain because if we don't know we're suffering, then are we really suffering? True ignorance. It would be better for people to never know. To never know what is the cause of their suffering and why they're suffering. Technically, because if they don't even know about it, is it going to hurt them? It's all pointless anyway. But it's not. We definitely need meditation. And we need ways to relieve stress. Many people use different methods to relieve stress. Exercise is probably the best in the world. Meditation and prayer is another. And some more destructive ones, substances. But still necessary. The whole world is the way that it is. We'll never change it. It's not gonna... Um, it's like... The world is... The world is perfect the way that it is. The only thing that we can do is focus on ourselves and change ourselves. And then we make the place better. Every time we say something harmful to someone else, we're hurting ourselves. But if we let everyone walk all over us completely, you're gonna hurt yourself. No one cares about you. That's the secret. That's what I realized. No one, everyone cares about you. But there's only a very few people in the world that no one understands these principles. 
they do at a subconscious level, but we don't really think about them. If I'm nice to someone unlimitedly and they just take advantage of it and just take advantage of it, it will cause me more suffering. If I don't put rules in place and boundaries in place and then use the tools that I have, the tools that the government has, will create more suffering. That's the thing about prayer and self-reflection and meditation, is when we think about all of these things, they, when we reflect on our own life, it, it allows us to have a higher understanding of what is happening. It allows us to come to a higher perspective on what to do and what actions to take, but it's never ending. There can be too much reflection as well. Sometimes you have to have action. Sometimes you don't need reflection at all. You just need to move forward and take action. Once you've figured it all out, that's another issue that some people have, is the failure to take action. The world will give you exactly what you want. But if you never take action, then you'll never get anything. God is the greatest.